Hi everyone, I just wanted to run through a short list of supplies that you will need for your crochet. So you're going to need a little pair of embroidery scissors, they don't have to be huge. Obviously you'll need your yarn and your hooks which I'll go through in a moment. A needle with a reasonably large eye and a blunt, a reasonably blunt tip. The reason we want that not too sharp is so that you don't split your ply when you're trying to weave in your ends. You might like to use a needle threader, it's up to you, and you might like to use stitch markers, and again up to you. I will go through the use of those in other videos further down the track. When you choose your yarn it's a good idea to go for something that's a reasonably light colour and thickness. So you don't want something that's super thick but you also don't want something that's really fine because that's just going to make it harder to see your stitches. So on the back of our label it has a needle size or recommended needle size of four and a half. So that is for knitting or the size of your crochet hook. So our crochet hooks have the size along here. And as you can see, a six for that particular yarn is a bit big. I can use that to do my stitches. It just means that my sample will be quite large and the stitches will be very open. This hook is only 0.6. It's quite tiny. I would have a lot of trouble using that. As you can see it wants to grab and split my ply. So just have a look at what your needle size recommends. This one is a four and a half. Now it's also got a seven on it. That is a UK size so it's the conversion of the four and a half. You can see that's going to be very comfortable and suit me quite nicely for what we're trying to do. Further on, if you're deciding that you want to do a project and you need more than one ball, you need to look at this number here on the back, your die lot number. So you can grab the same colour and to the naked eye it might look exactly the same. When they dye wool, because they're dyeing in bulk, the yarn will go in two or three or four different dye lots. So Dialots can vary a lot. If you have a dialot that has the same number, you know that the both ball, you know that both balls of yarn were in that one dialot, so they will be the same colour. 